Welcome to Japan, Undertoads. Get ready for, for lots of rain and lots of uncooked seafood and even more bullets. This is Yakuza 4, developed and published by... Uh... Oh boy. Uh, wait a second. I... Who did this freaking game? Ah, oh, this, is, this is embarrassing. I can't remember who did this freaking game. It, but you know what? It's right there. So if only there were some ridiculous, overblown, self-referential reminder of who did this freaking game somewhere within this freaking game. For all the mysteries surrounding its origins, things are a lot more transparent in terms of the game itself. Yakuza 4 is a beat-em-up with lots of RPG elements. You'll mash the buttons, you'll level up, and you'll kick plenty of ass. You'll also smoke a lot, which is... I mean, I don't know. I mean, I guess, I guess Japanese people love carcinogens. And that simple gameplay ends up serving as a foundation upon which the game builds a story. A story that happens to be the most ambitious aspect of Yakuza 4. You'll play as four different characters before the credits roll, learning their stories and their unique fighting maneuvers along the way. Of course, they're only really unique in that they look different. Yakuza 4 is mostly a game of punching and kicking in random combinations. Now sure, you can grab your foes and you can even bash their brains in with random objects, but for the most part, mashing the buttons is your primary means of offense. Now, fortunately, the heat meter mixes things up a bit. The more damage you deal in the fight, the more your heat meter fills up. And once it's full, you can pull off some, some pretty ridiculously brutal moves that give the otherwise repetitive combat a little diversity and even some cinematic flair. Now that said, if you've played the prior games, this is probably pretty familiar territory. You've seen these moves before, you've seen the mechanic. And for better or worse, it's back and it's very similar. Now whether that's a good or a bad thing depends on your expectations, but just know that the combat in Yakuza 4 hasn't really evolved, and frankly, neither has much else. Now if you haven't played the prior games, Yakuza 4 does a nice job of at least getting you up to speed. The game includes a series of cutscenes from each of the previous games, which lets you educate yourself on the series, or refresh your memory if you've already played them. It's a really nice touch, especially for a game that's so story-heavy. And if nothing else, Yakuza 4 is certainly story-heavy. <laughs> Listen, I had to wait almost 20 minutes before the game would let me actually do anything. And to be fair, that had more to do with these... these ridiculous PS3 installation screens than the game's emphasis on story. But even after all that, I was asked to do a lot more watching than playing in Yakuza 4. And, you know, nothing makes a $60 game purchase more worthwhile than watching cutscenes. When you actually get to play it though, Yakuza 4 is solid. The repetition is a bit of a problem, uh, and the fact that the non-interactive parts are the emphasis in what is supposedly an interactive piece of software rubs me the wrong way. But if you're looking for a decent beat-em-up for the PlayStation 3, this really isn't a bad cho- Oh. Oh my. Hamburgers. I'll take one.